greetings all praising King Selassie. Language is perhaps the most powerful force that exists within cultures, even more powerful than the law of man, because the law is written in a language, and language represents concepts, ideas. If a word does not exist, that does not mean that the idea cannot exist. However, if an idea does not exist, uh, the word will not. So language follows thinking. And as in how media conducts its affairs, um, the conductors of language will present concepts that they see as worthy and eliminate others deemed as valueless. So when we're dealing with English language, we are dealing with a particular culture projecting its values upon all the users of that language. This language was not invented merely to communicate, yet to communicate specific concepts that uphold a specific tradition. In this country, uh, people are divided upon race. Um, and yet, how much more are they divided based on customs rather than appearance? An example, if you have a Latino man uh, of Hispanic origin, having the ability to speak the Spanish language. That man may have very light colored skin as myself, and yet he will be viewed differently than if he did not speak Spanish. So no matter what a person looks like, they are prejudged based more on their cult culture of origin. And it seems to make no difference what the person actually thinks. I mean, they could be a, a uh, fanatic of wrestling um, or they could be obsessed with reality TV shows. They could be a free-loving naturalist that wanders nomadically throughout the land. It, as long as they speak this language, they're seen in a particular category. Now, most of the racial tension is caused by the elite to stimulate labor. Um, throughout history, man has competed against one another based on cultural perceptions. And the, um, perhaps, weakness of having superiority or feeling the need for. So, the elite is certainly going to benefit in today's day and age where people are pitted against each other for all 
physical differences. If you take the Mexican community into consideration, you, you think that you can only come to think that they feel they are being attacked by other nationalities, particularly those that claim to be Caucasian. And yet, it's the system that's still accepting those people. So, in effect, they lean back on the system for protection. The same system that's driving these frictions through its various outlets. Um, and so, the result is that the Mexicans feel like, well, I've got a stake in this United States and I'm gonna prove that I'm a hard worker, not like these other people are labeling. And it's not really people, it's really the elite through their media outlets. But they're believing that this is the perception around them and they're gonna prove um, that they're, they're, they're hard working and law abiding. See? Um, I mean, you can talk about the, the Black Lives Matter. You know, they set this thing up, Black Lives Matter, and then they say, all lives matter. Now, who can disagree with all lives matter? But as soon as you say that, you know, you become oppositional to this other. That's why I was always hands up, don't shoot type person. Because these brands in itself have a way of dividing individuals. If there is someone with dark skin that, that decides they don't want a light skinned person within their ranks, that's totally acceptable, right? I mean, that's their choice. But what, what becomes questionable is when they decide you know, not based on appearance and not based on values, but rather based on cultural upbringing because no one decides where or who they're going to be born to. And so you cannot hold somebody to blame because they were born. Yeah, giving thanks, Ja. Rastafari. Yeah, to recap, is the English language. It is really the English culture that's to blame. And the English see their use of their language as proper, where they view American Americans as improper, not to be taken into account, essentially. This is a class structure. And because of this language, it exists.